this um, trans person actually is basically Jessica Yaniv 2.0. Um, if you don't know Jessica Yaniv, is a perpetual liar and criminal in um, Canada who I think has finally been caught in jail and all this stuff. But this person's basically a self ID trans woman um, who's suing. This is the third time that they are suing an organization in the last 13 months or 18 months in New York. Uh, for discrimination. And this time it was after being told that they had to use the men's locker room. But look, this is what the person posted on their, uh, on their Facebook just a couple of days ago. Full man. And actually this is what was interesting is one of the women said he also derobed and he is full male. There is 150% man. There were things hanging out. And this person's trying to use the New York anti-discrimination laws to say that they, uh, they discriminated against them. Now, the thing is, is the person went in there, talked to the management. The management said... And actually told the management, I want to use a single gendered space or, a, uh, you know, a non-gendered space to change and everything like that. They said they don't have any non-gender spaces. So when they said that, he said, then I want to, that I, that I, I identify as a woman. So I want to use the female space. And they said, no, you can't do that. Took the class instead of leaving. I think at that point, if you're going to do this, then it's, a, I mean, that's their private property rights. But instead of doing it, instead of leaving, took the class and then broke the rules and went into the women's locker room. Now, if you know my stance on this, I think that the private property owners have the right to make any rules that they want in their establishments. This person broke the rules which is not something that I would do. I would have probably left if that was the case, or I would just want to have gone to the bathroom and, or changed there. I mean, it's up to the, the business owners to have every right to do this, but under New York state law, this could highlight some of the absurdities. So it's really, it, it really, oh, what, what the hell? Okay, so my computer keeps doing this. That is really weird. Um, no, I'm not answering these stupid questions, AT and T. Um, it's their yeah, their property, their rules. If you don't like it, go home. That's always been my solution to the bathroom issue. Is every proper every private business owner has the right to make the the decision on their property. If you don't like it, then don't go there. It's the free market solution. But this person is actually causing harm to the trans community um, by by going in there and suing because it just makes us look crazy. And but at the end of the day, maybe it'll get rid of these self ID laws, and maybe we can actually look at you know allowing private property owners to you know create the rules for their property. That should be what happens, you know? Um, but it, it, it's absolutely, yeah, it's pretty crazy what's going on there.